Good evening. Today we are going to see what we have to plot in sheet number one for our term work of design of steel structures. This sheet and its contents were prepared by Avari sir and myself. Now you, you have to divide sheet into four parts. Exactly, we have to go for four parts. So uh, you can have preferably, so distance between these each part, you can see here, this is shown. So go in the same fashion, so it looks uh, good. So we have, this will be distance between these two parts. So this is part one, two, this is part three and part four. So in part one, we have to draw hot rolled steel sections. In part two, we have to go for figures, figure two of IS 800 2007, section dimension for classification. So table two, we have page 18, and these diagrams, we have page 19 on IS 800 2007. Then we have to plot bolted connection, and then we have to plot welds and welded connection. So likewise, we have to divide sheet into four parts. So now we have first slide for this, second slide for this, third for bolted and fourth for welded. So now we will go one by one. So we have hot rolled steel sections. So we have a high section, I beam, Indian standard white beam. So you can have ISWB. You can have Indian standard medium beam, Indian standard light beam, Indian standard junior beam. And dimensions are shown. This R1, this is root of radius at the junction and this is for flange. Similarly, here also we have and our R1 and R2, same uh, way. Then we have other dimensions. And then we have Indian standard medium channel, ISMC. Then we have ISLC, Indian standard light channel, ISJC, Indian standard junior channel. Then we have ISNT, Indian standard normal T, Indian standard deep T, Indian standard light T, and Indian standard junior T. Sorry, we have Indian standard medium T. M is over here. So we have this will be M. So ISMT. Then we have angles, Indian standard equal angle section, also ISA, and Indian standard unequal section, also ISA. Now here we can see uh, when we will talk about Indian ISA, Indian Standard Equal Angles, I have A equal to B and here we have A is not equal to B. Then we have second part of this figure 2 of ISA 800 2007 section dimension for classification. Already we have seen we have four classes. We have first plastic. Then we have compact, then we have semi-compact, and these three are allowed. So for these three, our area of AE, we have the effective area is A gross for these three. And if it is uh, slender, then we have to calculate, we have to find ineffective area in that case. So this is I section and these dimensions are given, you can see this, we have D that is equal to capital D minus 2TF and this B equal to BF by 2. And then we have to use two terms, one is D by TW and B by TF. And by using this, we have to see the classification. Similarly, for uh, 
channel section. So capital H equal to capital D minus 2TF. And then in the same way, B, we have total width of flange. For a welded plate girder, we have D, T, F, T, W, and B. Now here we should be very clear. So here if we will calculate B value as here we have seen BF by 2. Here we have, if we have this as BF, then we have B equal to BF minus TW by 2. This is from face of the web and it is from center of the web. So that is major difference in I section and in your welded section. Then we have this as uh, double angle section. So BT, then we have T section. So in this we have two for channel angle sections. Then we have this as angle section. And if you will see, we have to go for angle section three criteria as B by T, D by T, B plus D by T. And we have 15.7 and 25. Then we have a bolted connection. First, we have lap joint. So try to plot these bolts exactly below upper bolt and try to keep edge distances same. So keep this distance and this distance same. Then this distance and this distance same. So we have this as lap joint. Then we have double cover butt joint. So we are in this version. Now double cover means we have these as cover plates. So we have these two as cover plate. This is one cover plate. And this is second cover plate. If you are provided on one side only, then that is single cover butt joint. And then we have in this fashion, we have plotted these bolts. Then we have chain bolting. And in this chain bolting, we have this as pitch in the direction of stress. So center to center distance between the bolt is pitch. Perpendicular to the direction of stress, we have center to center distance between bolt is gauge. Then distance between the center of the bolt to end of the plate is end distance. This is in the direction of stress. And perpendicular to the direction of stress, we have edge distance. Then we have uh, last that is staggered bolting. And in this staggered bolting, we have to actually plot effective area that is uh, a net and that should be a minimum so we have this as one one section two two section and three three section so we have to calculate for all these three and minimum will gives us a net so this is part three and then we have part four which is weld and welded connection so we have first square weld then we have single weld now keep in mind so whatever this portion we have seen over here, so this is your weld. This portion is weld. Here also, whatever inside your dotted line, that is your weld. So single V, then we have double V. So this dotted line shows you have this as weld. Then we have single B weld, then double B weld, single U, double U, single j double j then here we have uh, two plates connected so here you can see we have square edge we have square edge so this so square edge means we have one in this fashion another in this so we have this as square edge and for angle actually we have we know we have angle in this fashion and so we have this as round two and here we have maximum size three fourth of t here we have maximum size t minus 1.5 then we have these two connected this is my size of weld and then this is my throat thickness so it comes for perpendicular two plates as 0.7s because these angles are 45 degree and then we have sine cos 45.707 and then we have to go for the uh, your 
name plate and in this name plate you have to show all these uh, lines so we have this as name then we have college name then we have class division seat number and title so this you have to show in your first sheet so we will stop here only so thank you in next we will see sheet number 2